times to know thee, diligence to seek thee, and wisdom to find thee. Sanctify us with thy presence, bless us with thy might, and assist us with thy counsel, that all our endeavors may begin with thee, and through thee may be happily ended. Amen. Amen. We are compelled to never forget that while we enjoy our daily pleasures, there are others who have endured and may still be enduring agonies of pain, deprivation, and imprisonment. Before we begin our activities, we pause to recognize our PLWs and MIAs. We call your attention to the small table, which occupies a place of dignity and honor. It is set for one, symbolizing the fact that our members of our armed forces are missing from our ranks. They are referred to as POWs and MIAs. We call them comrades. They are unable to be with their loved ones and, and families, so we join together to pay humble tribute to them and to bear witness to their continued absence. The table is small, symbolizing the frailty of one prisoner alone against his or her suppressors. The tablecloth is white, symbolic of the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call to arms. The single rose in the vase <coughs> signifies the blood they may have shed in sacrifice to ensure the freedom of our beloved United States of America. This rose also reminds us of the family and friends of our missing comrades who keep faith while awaiting their return. The red ribbon on the vase represents an unyielding determination for a proper accounting of our comrades who are not among us. A slice of lemon on the plate reminds us of their bitter fate. The salt sprinkled on the plate reminds us of the countless fallen tears of families as they wait. The glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us at this time. The chair is empty. They are not here. The candle is reminiscent of the light of hope, which lives in our hearts to illuminate their way home, away from their captors to the open arms of a grateful nation. The American flag reminds us that many of them may never return and have paid the supreme sacrifice to ensure our freedom. It is believed that later, that evening, after the burial, Colonel McRae began the draft for his now famous poem, In Flanders Fields. It reads, In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place and in the sky, the larks so bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved. And now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with those who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Let no one feel forgotten or neglected. Let every man and woman, young or seasoned, feel the deep and enduring gratitude of our nation and its people. You know that veterans can feel isolated and alone, even in the midst of their friends and families, because there are few around who understand their experience. Remind them often that while their, federal, while their fellow human beings may never fully comprehend, you see, you know, and you identify with them in everything. Lord, you know how deep a warrior's wounds go. You know the memories that haunt them and the scars that many of them continue to carry. Please bring healing to those veterans who still hurt. Reward them for their sacrifice, their service, and all that they have given. Bless them far beyond all their expectations, and bless our time here today. In your holy name, amen. 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 I'd like to acknowledge a veteran here today um, for the proclamation from the uh, Department of Massachusetts uh, American Legion. The American Legion Auxiliary Department of Massachusetts, Massachusetts recognizes the female veteran is an integral part of the veterans community. And the national and department presidents have both adopted honoring uh, female veterans as their special project this year. Here in Hopkinton, we're gonna take this opportunity to thank Betty Brannigan. You come up here, Betty.
We'll just pose for a little picture, okay? <laughs> All right? All right. This is for you, okay? Oh, oh thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for your service.